From black mold to holes in the walls and bugs falling from the ceiling, it's a disgusting mess that some South Wichita renters say they're stuck with. Days after we first told you about the dangerous living conditions at Emory Gardens Apartments, we still haven't heard back from the owners or even management. So Cakes Pilar Pedraza set out to find out why. I mean, you can just... You can smell the mold. Our reporters who visited the Emory Garden Apartments say it smells like rot. Each time we've done a story, they've made the effort to reach out to the owners of the complex. Or if the company had any comments. With no luck. So Monday, we started digging. The apartment complex's website shows ATM Group Property Management runs the facility. It's based in Texas, but a check of the Texas Secretary of State's record shows it's forfeited the right to do business there by not filing required paperwork. And so back to square one. As Sedgwick County tax records show two companies as the property owners, FPKS Apartments and Wichita 18. But their registrations with the state lead back to other companies. The search now taking us to Kentucky where company registrations showed addresses in New York, which then led us to registrations in Delaware. There, we ran into a dead end. So you can't even pass a message on for me? The same company name showed up in state after state, forming a circle as one registered the next in a cross-country loop. Somebody that's going to do business in a manner that uh, I think you, the tenants are running into there, they want to be as invisible as possible. Dr. Larry Straub is a business professor at Newman University. He says the difficulty we had tracking down the owner doesn't necessarily mean anything shady is going on. Real estate expert Dr. Stan Longhofer at Wichita State agreed. That's not entirely uncommon and some of it is perfectly innocuous. Sometimes people set up different entities for a lot of different um, tax purposes and, and, and legal purposes. But that dead end we ran into in Delaware could hint at something more. Hal Weitzman, in his book, What's the Matter with Delaware, says his investigation into the state's business laws uncovered everything from criminal conspiracies to wealthy tax avoidance and political dark money. These types of operations will tend to group up in certain states that have probably more favorable or even lax regulations, rules, even laws. Which is why Straub says the best thing these tenants could have done was to get their story out to the public, which they did. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, on your side. And by the way, one of the shell corporations in Delaware did tell us that the group ATM Group, which apparently manages those apartments, closed there back in 2009.